Greetings one and all and welcome to another Decker Games YouTube thing. Today we are going to do another GPU thing because on my previous video I got a couple of comments about this um, GPU in front of us. This is a um, AMD Radeon RX 580, the 8GB um, version. And uh, as I was saying I got a few comments saying that well this was a um, better card than the uh, 5500 XT, a card that I um, did some uh, sort of um, review in the, that previous video, a card which you, uh, you can grab for around 90 to 100 euro dollars, and um, it is great for 1080p high, at least in my humble opinion, and uh, well, this is a older card, and uh, let me say that I love some uh, Polaris cards, my um, Sapphire RX 580, the uh, Nitro Plus card, was uh, one of my favorite cards, I had it for a long long time and it, and it was pretty satisfying. Nowadays I have a uh, RX 550 on, my, uh, on the latest computer, let's uh, call it that. I have an RX 570 in my uh, mother's machine and I have an RX 580, which is this one on my father's PC, so uh, yeah, as you can see, I am a big fan of uh, Polaris cards because, well, they are great, they, 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 don't, they don't take a lot of power, and uh, when it comes to performance, 1080p, obvious, they are um, pretty, pretty okay, and nowadays they are cheap, because, well, you can get this for um, around 60, 70 euro dollars, and, uh, well, we are going to test it in 2023, this is a card from 2017, so uh, yeah, it, it is oldish, but we are going to check it, how it uh, performs in uh, today's gaming, and uh, just because of those comments, um, I want to do, oops, <laughs> I want to do some uh, kind of uh, comparison between the two cards, between a uh, 70 euro dollar card and a 90 to 100 euro dollar card, used market, of course, and um, see how they uh, stack against uh, each other, and that's what we are going to do, 1080p, high settings, 60 to 70 euro dollars, 8 gigabyte card from 2017, so uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do what we gotta do, look at numbers, look at graphics, because why not? As usual, we are going to take a look at a bunch of games, in this case, 10 games at 1080p high settings. On the top part of the screen, you can find the um, native resolution for um, both cards. The RX 580 is uh, represented with uh, red bars, and the uh, RX 5500 XT with blue bars. And on the uh, bottom part of the screen, you get the uh, upscale numbers. Let's kick things off with Borderlands 3 1080p high settings, DirectX 12. The uh, RX 580 at uh, native resolution gets an average of uh, 48 frames per second, while the uh, 5500 XT goes to uh, 63, with upscale set to uh, 75%. The RX 580 gets an average of uh, 68 frames per second, while the 5500 XT gets 88, so uh, it comes out clearly on top. The next game is Control, 1080p high settings, this was a NVIDIA kind of title. The RX 580 native resolution gets uh, 46 frames per second on average, while the RX 5500 XT gets uh, 46. With the upscale set to 75%, the RX 580 gets 72, while the 5500 XT gets also 72, so uh, well, in the case of uh, control, it is uh, pretty much tied. Next we have uh, Cyberpunk 2077, the RX 580 at native resolution gets uh, 35 frames per second, which is uh, not great, while the RX 5500 XT gets 43, with the uh, FSR set to quality, numbers go up, with the uh, RX 580 getting 47, and the RX 5500 XT getting those 59 very close to 60 frames per second. Now we have Death Stranding, 1080p very high, DirectX 12, the RX 580 at native resolution gets 68 frames per second on average, 
while the RX 5500 XT gets uh, 84 frames per second on average. With FSR set to quality, the RX 580 gets uh, 87 frames per second on average, while the 5500 XT gets 108, so uh, yeah, Death Stranding is uh, pretty much playable on uh, both cards, although the RX 580 falls behind. Next up we have uh, Doom Eternal, which runs on uh, everything, the RX 580 native resolution, 97 frames per second on average, while the 5500 XT gets 139, with upscale set to 75, the RX 580 gets 108, and the 5500 XT 160. It's uh, another of those games where, uh, well, it is pretty much playable, but again, the uh, 580 gets behind the, the 5500 XT. Next game on the list is F1 2022. The RX 580 with native resolution gets 96 frames per second on average, while the 5500 XT gets 136. With upscale set to 75%, the RX 580 goes to 111, that's a fun number, and the 5500 XT goes to 137. It is nice to see that with upscale technologies on, it makes a difference in the RX 580, we go from 96 to 111, while on the uh, 5500 XT, it is pretty much the same. Next game on the list is GTA 5, 1080p, the only DirectX 11 game. The RX 580 at a native resolution gets 115 frames per second on average, while the RX 5500 XT gets 157 frames per second on average. And uh, again, it's uh, one of those games where, uh, well, what's the point on uh, doing uh, upscale technology things? It runs pretty well on both cards. Again, the 580 gets uh, behind the 5500 XT. Now we have uh, Horizon Zero Dawn 1080p, favor quality settings. The RX 580 at native resolution gets uh, 51 frames per second on average while the RX 5500 XT gets 69. With FSR set to quality, the RX 580 goes up to 66 frames per second on average, so right above that 60 frames per second barrier, while the RX 5500 XT goes to 100 frames per second on average, so pretty much ahead. Now we have Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the uh, RX 580 at native resolution gets 72 frames per second on average, while the 5500 XT gets uh, 77 frames per second on average. When we set resolution to uh, upscale at 75%, the RX 580 goes to 79 frames per second on average, while the 5500 XT goes to uh, 83 frames per second on average. Final game on this list is Uncharted 4, 1080p, high settings, the RX 580 native resolution gets a surprising 58 frames per second on average, while the 5500 XT gets 63 frames per second on average, and when we set FSR to quality, the RX 580 goes up to 70 frames per second on average, which again, it is a uh, surprise, while the 5500 XT goes to uh, 85 frames per second on average. And there you go, the uh, AMD RX 580 from 2017. Well, does it walk circles around my, the, the previous card, the RX 5500 XT? The answer is no. It is a uh, simple and uh, resounding no, it doesn't. But um, is it okay for 1080p for some games? Yes, it is. But for uh, others, not so much. So uh, you are pretty much stuck with using some uh, upscale technology, which is, which is fine by me. I get it that companies are uh, more interested nowadays in selling upscaling technologies, especially Nvidia uh, is selling DLSS like, uh, like crazy instead of making better cards, instead of, instead of making cards that just consume more power to uh, get more performance out of them. That's the technology that we have today. Let's put more power into the board, because because why not? But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm 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 rambling at the moment. It is a mini rant. 
let's call it that. So yeah, with upscale technologies, it is okay, not the greatest. I gotta say that uh, there were a couple of games that, uh, well, I tried them a little and uh, it wasn't uh, a enjoyable experience, let's call it that. But it is what it is. 2017, card, 8 gigabytes, so uh, you can't expect much more. So uh, yeah, again, if you're looking for something really, really cheap, which has 8 gigabytes of uh, VRAM, which is the bare minimum nowadays, uh, and I'm telling you this while in there, Starfield is uh, downloading, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy some Starfield in a moment, but uh, again, this, this can be an option. Again, 60 dollars, 60 euro dollars, 70 euro dollars, sometimes you can find it for less, uh, but uh, well, it's up to you. If you want a, a budget card that uh, can play some games, there you go. The uh, Radeon RX 580. You can get faster models, like the uh, aforementioned Sapphire cards, the Vapor X or the Nitro Plus. They come with some um, overclocking from, uh, from factory and whatnot, so uh, sure. Again, make of it what you will. If you enjoy this uh, thing that you are still currently watching, hopefully, leave it a thumbs up because uh, I appreciate it. Click uh, that subscribe button down here. Your support is uh, always very much welcome. You can follow me on social media for social media nonsense or uh, not if you are if you're not into nonsense as always. Thank you for watching this uh, thing that you just did. And uh, until my next video, please do as always. Take care.